Hey, here's a typical um, network cabinet. I like the way this is laid out. It's fairly simple. It's not necessarily the neatest thing in the world, but it's simple enough that I could give you a quick rundown of what somebody a little bit new in this field might find in a typical network cabinet. So typically these things, if they're done right and done well, they, they usually tend to kind of lay out in a logical order where up the top you've got your patch panels. This is your wiring infrastructure. So each one of these ports are these little little keyholes here called the RJ45 port or an or a Ethernet port goes out to a jack on a wall somewhere in the office. And then of course they're labeled. So and you'll see a corresponding label at the wall jack. Now they actually have two separate patch panels going on. One is for the wiring out to the walls and then because they've got a phone system in this rack they're also using the uh, this patch panel as a way of distributing the voice connections. So this patch panel doesn't go to outlets on the wall, it actually goes to this phone system right below here which is an old Nortel BCM50. And then below that, now a lot of times you will not find the voice equipment in the network rack, but that doesn't mean it's not possible. Below that I've got your network switch, which is kind of the, the heart of all the traffic. And so all these blue wires here are going from the network switch up to the wall outlets. Then of course we also have to have a router, so they've got a little Meraki router there. And then you need your ISP or your, net, your internet connection, which is coming from this box right here. This is the Comcast box uh, that provides the internet, so it's a cable internet converter so it takes the cable from the outside you know off the street and then converts it into ethernet it also acts as the route well can act as the router but they actually have their own router which is typical in a commercial environment you've got your UPS there this APC 750 that's a battery backup which supplies backup electricity in the event of a power outage they've got a PC here which might be a server or could be some special application server of some sort you may or may not see those in racks and then a little extra space and another battery backup. So that's pretty typical. That's a very typical, simply laid out uh, network rack you would find in kind of a small or maybe mid-sized business.